A bride locked out of her own wedding, and that's not all. 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel talked to the bride's mother about the other issues they ran into. Imagine getting ready for the big day. You head out to the venue, and the doors are locked. Both just looking at each other, going, you try. No, you try. Patty Freeman says when she and her daughter, the bride-to-be, arrived to Noah's event venue in Overland Park, no one was there to let them in. If we can't get in, we don't have a wedding. After they got in, they say they experienced even more problems. The place wasn't ready. And trash by the toilet and dirty chairs that our guests are going to sit on. A place that's set up from a night, a wedding the night before. 41 Action News spoke with Noah's event venue and they told us the employee who was supposed to open the building and prepare it quit without telling anyone. They said it's something they've never had happen and expressed their deepest apologies and they refunded the amount. And how could you, in, with any conscience whatsoever, not show up or put somebody else in place that would on somebody's wedding day. Kelly Ruff says in her 18 years of wedding planning, she's never witnessed anything like this. You, you know, the feeling of helplessness is an understatement. For Friedman, her daughter's wedding day was supposed to be a special day. This was on Mother's Day. Maybe some people would find that to be, oh my God, my daughter's getting married on Mother's Day. For me, it made it more special, not less. Despite the headaches, that didn't stop the bride and groom's big day. With some hard work, things started right on time. Everybody wore many hats trying to clean up the best we could. I did speak with Noah's building manager and she said something like this has never happened before. She says since this incident, they have now two event coordinators instead of just one. Reporting in Overland Park, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News.